you have like the the Cleveland and Sacramento games. What what's the difference in these past two games? Um, just more emphasis on finishing them out, you know, and, and staying the course. You know, we had some plays that that uh, could really have turned for us, and we could have went down the road we've been going down. Um, you know, and we you know just decided and continue to talk and, and, and tell one another that, you know, we got to continue to keep going, you know, and just keep fighting through whatever adversity is in front of us. Keith Smith. Hey, Mark. So you've talked in the past about just trying to make the right play, but your um, assists have been up. Is being more of a playmaker something you've tried to focus on in recent games? No, it's just me being me. You know, I'm a point guard and – um, you know, I just t try to take what the defense give me, gives me and, you know, find the open guy, you know, and especially when guys get hot, just try to make sure they get the ball as much as they can. And, you know, um, when, when guys leave me to help knocking down shots and making the right play, when I get the ball, um, if that's driving to the rim or try to get to the free throw line or making that extra pass. Gary Washburn. Hey, Mark, just two questions. One, how's the back of your head? It seemed like you really caught an elbow from Towns uh, on that flagrant foul. And secondly, what's that light going up against him? It seems like it's a damn wrestling match. I mean, you guys are just, you're grabbing, holding, you know, both of you guys are just going at each other. What's that like to, to guard such a big for multiple moments like that? Um, to answer your first question, my head's okay. Um, at the time, you know, that it was uh, a little sore. You know, thank God I got all this hair to to kind of uh, embrace the impact a little bit and take a little bit of it off. Um, and yeah, you know, he's a physical guy. You know, it's always going to be a grappling match with him. Um, you just got to do your best to to you know uh, not really fall too much into it because nine times out of ten, the whistle's probably going to go his way. So. You know, just continue to, to 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 use your body the right way, hands up, and use your chest, and and you know, um, <clears throat> just do your best. You know, he's a beast. You know, you gotta give credit to the guy. You know, he's really good at what he does. Mark D'Amico. Hey, Marcus. I also have two questions. I'll ask you one at a time. Um, first, my assumption is that you guys are just mentally plugged into the comeback during that third and fourth quarter in overtime, but. Did you or anyone else on the team recognize what Jason was doing and putting together during this game? Yeah, we all did. You know, um, um, we all recognized what Jason was doing and how he was doing it. You know, we just wanted to make sure that we can continue to support him whatever way we could. You know, he's making all the right plays down the stretch. Um, and, you know, when you got a, a player of his caliber that can do those type of things, it's fun to watch. It's fun to be a part of. And especially when, you know, he's making those right plays, it's fun, like I said, to play with. And to answer your second question, sorry, to answer your second, the first question that you asked me, uh, we definitely were focused in that comeback. You know, uh, it wasn't easy. We knew it wasn't going to be easy, but, you know, that's the that's the mindset we have to have, you know. And uh, I think that Knicks game really got us ready for this game to be ready to have a dogfight again. So the follow-up for me is – during that final minute, did you guys think about getting the ball into his hands for those those free throws down the stretch when you guys knew those free points were coming to Tatum's hands to get him more points? I mean, I, I did. I was trying to make sure I got the ball. You know, um, you know, he was hot. And, you know, uh, he was having a career night and just wanted to make sure, you know, like I said, we could support him in any way. And, you know, what a better way to get him some free points at the, at the free throw line. And not only that, you know, him getting those free points at the, at the end of the game, you know, is going to, for us, roll over to the next game is confidence wise and, and help us as a team. Mark Murphy. Hey Marcus, the last two games, you guys have uh, survived some pretty tough stretches with turnovers. How much of that has been the competition is how much, and how much of that is you guys have to tighten that up? A little bit of both, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're young and guys are still learning. And, uh, you know, guys are still learning how to, to, to play the right way and continuously to evolve to make the right play. And, uh, you know, we've been really forcing that down each other's, um, you know, back, just making sure we do it. So, you know, we're going to have some turnovers, but you got to credit those guys. They do a really good job of getting in the passing lanes, both teams from the Knicks and Timberwolves tonight, um, getting in the passing lanes and, you know, um, reading the plays and, 
and you know turning us over. So, um, but for us to be able to 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 stand pat with that and hold it, hold the four down, and you know not let it get too out of control, and still come back and win both of those games is a uh, it's something that we haven't been able to do, um, and it feels good to do. And we just got to continue to keep it rolling. Final question for Marcus Bob Sharon. Thanks, Brandon. Hi, Marcus. Uh, it, it's just talking about quickly that you said you needed to uh, follow up after the Knicks game. Uh, in the third quarter, it seemed to me that you were the one to get the guys going. You were making uh, chemistry plays. You made a couple of shots. What did you? What was your mental focus come in the third quarter? Not to let my team lose. All right, we'll wrap it up right there.